Hey, what's up Cajun country? West Coast Cajun here. You're about to see one of the craziest catches I've ever made. Uh, big old five pound female. Snagged it on light gear this morning. Had to go down a hill with blackberries, trudging through stuff, ripping my pants up. But I landed her. You know once they're on the hook, I ain't letting them go. So I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this adventure. Make sure you stay tuned for the big girl. Have a little patience. The video gets kind of shaky here and there because I'm psh, I'm trudging down an embankment trying to get to the water so I can get my hands on this fish. So other thing you guys might notice is you're gonna get some pictures of the blackberries in front of me. It's because I'm bending down sight fishing. And every time I do that, the camera looks down at the floor. So have some patience, but stick with it. It's a big fish. You're gonna wanna see it. West Coast Cajun saying, keep them lines tight. See you on the water. Here we go. It's chilly out here right now. 32 degrees. I was hoping it's gonna be a little warmer this morning. But I think the water's been holding the temperature, so I'll give this a shot here. Tide's down, but it's coming in, so man, I'm just hoping. Something. Draw the attention of something here. I also got my Ned rig tied on, and I got a Gillikin uh, square bill. If I can't get something to eat, I'd like to run into something a little bigger than what I've been catching. <clears throat> I don't know though. Give it a shot here. I know there's some big fish that live over here. I've seen them. Start running out of time here, and that's okay. Can't find a pattern or getting rhythm if you're not out here, right? Step one was to get out here. Let me just let it sit there. And hope that something grabs it and I don't get caught up. Hit <laughs> whatever's chewing on something's right down there. I hear it. All right. Fill out the guillotine for a little bit. Make sure I can see my line too. Just in case. I don't have high hopes, but you never know.
Oh well, I don't think I caught any of that. I just caught a fish. Oh, there's another one. There's a couple right there. I see. That's a good one. I don't want to lose him. Huh? Impossible to lose. This is going to be crazy. I'm trying to get down to him. I'm not going to be able to do it. I don't want to lose them, but... Because right now I'm not able to get over there. Holy shit. Come on, dude. I feel like he's still on there. I still got him. Yeah, he's still there. Come on, dude. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. He's just barely hooked. How am I gonna get down there? Shit. I might just have to man it up. Come on. Come on, let me through. Hell yeah. Look at that mother effer. Whoo. Whoo, whoo, whoo. Get him in my good hand here. Holy shit. That's a big fish. You guys see what I had to go through to land that? Yeah. I gotta get a weight on this dude.
Let's see here. Four nine, five one, five pounds, one ounce. There we go. Hell yeah. Let's get a pick of this dude real quick. Oh shit, <laughs> look at that thing. All right, I gotta get this dude back in the water. Hopefully you guys get a good visual of that dude. All right, it's in a good spot here. Get him in the water as much as possible. Right. See a big dude. Big, big girl. Big girl. Give me a bite. He's usually ready. Now give me a bite. Come on. There we go. Moving. There we go. See ya, big girl. Hell yeah, thank you, Jesus. West Coast Cajun style, boom. That's what I was waiting for. I've been watching that fish for a week and a half. I finally found his eating spot. Whew. You guys see what I went through to land that thing? I gotta check my gear, it's probably effed up, but. Bam! Hell yeah! Retie. Put the worm on. Triple check my line. Take a deep breath. I was breathing hard. Whew. Holy cow. Well. While I'm retying and stuff. That's why I use braid. That's why my leaders are 10 pound. Big game. And that's why the Z-Man Ned rigs I use are extra stout. Look at that. Not a bend in it. You guys heard my drag running and stuff. You saw the pressure I was putting on that fish. Not a bend in it. That's why I do it. I just retied that knot. Line looks good. How does the line okay? Well, there you go. Still breathing hard. Man, that's exciting. Let's see if they're back over there. Maybe I can get one or two more. Shoot. I don't want to be selfish, but dang. Whew. It's hard to walk away when I just saw a couple, right? Man, they like it up shallow right now. I cannot believe those big fish are up this shallow. spot to be standing and covered in thorns. Ouch. Oh no shit, there's a fish right there. Let's see if I can Let's see if I can get him to eat. Oh, it's 
scared them. fish. They're up shallow, but I don't know about their eating habits. I can see where a couple of them are going to nest already, man. Where'd he go? Let's see if he came around to this side. It seems to be their pattern. They scare them off one side, they sneak over to the other. It was not as big as the other one I caught, but solid three for sure. Maybe I'll sneak back up there while I'm sitting here. Shit, that was a hit. No? Yeah. Oh shit, he's strong. Come on, let's see if I can get him up there. Yeah, he's a good one too. Not as big as the other one I caught, but look at that dude. Look at that, another large mouth. I think I found you guys. I think I found you guys. Look at that one. Not as good as the uh, five pounder, but look at that dude. He's strong too. He's a solid two plus. I think you were the one I saw, dude. Incoming tide is money today, I'm telling you. <laughs> Boom. He's chunky. He's chunky. He's two plus. See, I'm telling you, the bigger ones I'm nice to. I'm not mean to the little ones, they can just take it a little more. Alright. Alright, dude, see you later. Thank you. Bye, dude. <laughs> Heading straight back over that way. Hell yeah, thank you, Jesus. Well, it was interesting how I said, I wonder if I scared him to the other side. And I tossed over there and got one. Almost like I knew what I was talking about. Watch out. I might know a little something, something. Large mouths are a little more lethargic, but they're in here. Flat, hard bottom. Right next to a depth of grass. I should be able to run this pattern <clears throat> the next month easy. Well, right on Cajun country, that was a pretty sick morning, man. Uh, it's been a long time since I ripped into a fish that size. 
I'll really make my day put a smile on my face. I learned a lot today. Um, the last two weeks I've been seeing big fish up shallow, chilling on the rocks, facing into the current. And I've been trying to catch them and they just want nothing to do with anything I'm throwing. They're super sketchy. Soon as that bait hits the water, they're running away. No matter how far away it hits, like they can feel it and they're moving. Um, but today I found out that they're just up there sunning and when they roam down into their deeper holes, that's when they're eating. Um, it was also really cool to run into the largemouth today and getting a lot of little spotties up shallow. So that's a neat little determination right there too. feels like the spotties are eating up shallow. And those largemouth are just a little more lethargic right now. They're, they're kind of getting down deep when they're eating. So tip of the day is hit those rocks, hit those points, use that high tide. See if you can't rip some lips, man. Appreciate you guys coming out here with me this morning, doing a little bank fishing. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Shoot me a thumbs up. Leave a comment or something like that. Keep this whole thing rolling. Besides that, this is West Coast Cajun signing out and keep them lines tight. See you on the water. Peace.